This video is part of the series about peak detection algorithm called Apex Track. In this tutorial, we'll cover how Apex Track uses second derivative to find peak apices, how it recognizes the boundaries of the peaks using liftoff and touchdown thresholds, how it decides where the baseline is, and we'll talk about smoothing and configuration options like window size or peak width. Originally, this algorithm was introduced by Waters Corporation in their Empower software. But throughout this tutorial, we'll be using software called Pixel. We'll cover the most fundamental parts of the algorithm and we'll leave out some of the details out. If you decide it's not enough, you can find more information in the official documentation, which you can find by the link given in the description to this video. All the configuration options that we'll cover may be named differently in different software and also may have different units, but the fundamental ideas stay the same and once you learn what Apex Track is, you'll be able to use the knowledge no matter which software implements it. That's it for the introduction, let's dive into it.